away. Well, that didn't last long. I'll take for later. Hopefully, you guys are focused. Okay guys, figured I'd do a little bit better video about uh, what I was doing pressing on these clutches. Uh, basically on the, the inside of these clutches, opposite the bearing, the bearing and the, the trunnion, um, there's four holes. You can see there's two on the outside and two on the inside. The two outside holes basically are so you can push the aluminum trunnion off and I use a press just because it's a it's a lot easier and a lot simpler not to mess up especially the aluminum um, and then the inner holes here and here push on the center race of the bearing let me take it off, and you can see obviously this is a this is a bad bearing. I I probably kept it just to keep numbers off of it or something from work, but because uh, this this clutch hub is actually still good with a brand new bearing, and and I probably have to get a new new trunnion and put on there, which these are like uh, 80, 60 or eighty dollars, I want to say. What I'm thinking, just the aluminum piece. So, but that's how you rebuild these clutches, and then when you put it back together, you do do the reverse and just push the bearing down on. And the trun, what I do with the aluminum piece is I use a, a dead blow hammer you know, or a soft faced rubber mallet would even work. They're normally they're not super tight, so that's the best thing you can do if you try pressing them together you will smash the center of these in and I have one somewhere in my hoard of clutch parts up there that uh, that I've done that um, done that by so uh, as many people know in my world ask me how I know I tried it so anyhow I figured I'd do a video on them and the video I made not the best because I kept I was at work so you kept getting I keep getting interrupted there so anyhow thanks for watching see everybody later Oh, and I did take pictures of the where the bolts are at. The thing I'll say is if you got one that's never been apart, you want to use uh, really short, uh, they're quarter inch bolts is what they are. Um, you want to use short ones to start out. If you start out with the long ones so you can push it the whole way off, a lot of times you'll bend or break the bolts. So it's just a FYI and uh, you may or may not be able to pull this off with punches. I've never tried it, so... I'm a hammer. So, anyhow, thanks for watching, guys. And I'll catch everybody on the next one. Later. And also notice how bad the bearing was. Mm-hmm. Wonder was making noise.